G'day beaks and beaks to be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. When I met Alan through my local beekeeping club, I knew nothing about bees. Geez, I wonder what's under those uh, leaves there. There's a swarm, and by the looks of it, it's been here for quite some time, by the colour of the wax. Just some of the items that uh, we'll probably need to uh, remove this swarm. What do you got there, Paul? Double barrel. Hey? Double barrel. Double barrel. <laughs> Double barrel. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it too. Yeah. <laughs> They're twins, those two. Yeah, I reckon. They're the ones we've refurbished, Alan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. much better. See the guards, eh? Yeah. Yeah, this is just the start of it. It's all in amongst the twigs. So we've, we've cut a bit of this outlying comb out and we're now entering uh, the, the brood area. And you can see in this little um, cluster, we've got the sealed brood pattern occurring. And um, you can see how that's all this sealed brood in here and the, the warmth of the cluster. And then as you go up, uh, all the bees are moving up to the top because we're using a little bit of smoke. But the honey soup will be up top there. Let's wake them up. Right, okay. So you want me to, you want me to stir these bees up, yeah, Alan? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I want you to stir, stir them up. Stir them up, get a few stings. Yeah, they're too quiet. Right, okay. Yeah, it's a decent sized hive, that's for sure. With the amount of bees there, it's going to be a phenomenal job to, to uh, find the queen, so that's why we've shaken all these bees out on the ground. And we'll just work the, work the hive and, uh, and we'll come back after. And where, the, where there's a cluster, that's where the queen will probably be. The last of the stragglers. What are you doing there, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> that's your nuke, is it? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, du du double hive and uh, there's no piles of bees outside so it looks like we've got the queen inside. We'll soon know in another half hour whether there's any clusters of bees outside. That's where the queen will be if there's little piles of bees. There's some more uh, bits and pieces and uh, we've got a whole tarp there that we've got to remove with all the branches and, and the burr comb and virtually other comb that's there. 